for you know sentimental reasons, I think the first film will always be the you know the best Die Hard. But this film is is like the is like the next step. You know, it's like it, it's 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 uh, bigger. There's there's more action. It's louder, uh, and um, I think it 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 really satisfies. Um, what people went to the first film for. We were talking a little bit ago, and you were making note that in, in a lot of ways this has become a sequel town. Yeah. Are, 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 They're are popular the, in the business. They're popular for the people who make money. It's a, it's a, a sequel's a different thing, you know. It's not, it's not really a, a movie. It's, a, it, it's, a, it's another chapter in, in another movie. It, this is like the second part of the first film, you know. And we all really did this film because because we got such a great response to, you know, the first film that that this film really was made for that audience. You know, I mean, the, you know, the first film really wasn't um critically well received. You know, I mean, these these uh, you know, action genre films really take a you know, you say, well, it's not this and it's not that. But I mean, it's it's a they are very entertaining. Read you something, and and you give me a comment if you would. Right from this one comes from writer Stephen D'Souza. Quote: If we're lucky, we will do for air travel what Jaws did for swimming. <laughs> Is that the objective? Well, it wasn't the objective of the actors. Um, Die Hard, the the first film. Uh, was compared to a roller coaster ride. Um, the second film is a much bigger roller coaster. Um, it's more scary. It's I mean it's got it's just got that kind of hang on sensibility to it. Um, I don't know. I mean I was really scared when I saw Jaws. I did not go in in you know the ocean for you know, a couple of weeks. Yeah. Um, you know air travel and airline crashes are probably the 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 single most scary thing in you know the American people's minds. You know, I mean, God, the news just has you know shown us so many you know horrible crashes. Fortunately, this film is just a you know a a big cartoon. But most airport officials didn't see it that way, did they? Well, they're officials. They I mean they have to take an official stance, I guess. You think when they see it, they will have a different opinion than what they were led to believe it is? I think we were pretty straight with them. I, I think, you know, we told them early on that, that this is, I mean, it certainly isn't a commercial for airline travel. It certainly isn't a film about, you know, fly the friendly skies. This is a, it's a, it's a, it's a larger than life story that just happens to be set in and around airlines. Um, but God, is that, a, is that our responsibility to like, to, to not portray real life, to, to, uh, not, uh, use what's out there? What can be, what, What's more scary, seeing this film and knowing that it's a film or watching the news and watching planes crash down the runway and you know that there are live human beings in there? That scares me a hundred times more than seeing, it, you know, than seeing the scariest scene in this film. There are some very scary things in this film about air travel. Um, and I think what, what we have done is, is, is played out the, the you know, fantasy of what if, you know. What if you were on a plane that was going down? But it's just a movie, you know. It's just entertainment. This is, you know, something to take your mind off your life for, you know, the next couple hours.